Bajaj has launched the new Dominar 400 at a starting price of just 1 Indian rupee and 36 pays lock, raising the standards by nearly two times the current amount of performance on the offer in its overall lineup. The new Dominar 400 is a different approach than all other Bajaj motorcycles till date, providing the rider with loads of power and yet, being as relaxed as a cruiser to ride. Losing the name Pulsar from its branding would not make it less than anything on the road from its class. Dominar carries a sense of exclusivity with its high spec body and an optional dual channel ABS variant for 1 Indian rupee and 50 pays lock. Bajaj clearly explains the intention to rule the segment as you cannot even buy a decent 250cc bike in the price where they have placed this big bike for big boys. Bajaj Dominar 400 measures 2,156mm in length, 813mm in width and 1,112mm in height. The wheelbase measures 1,453 mm while the bike weighs 182 kg with a full fuel tank. It claims a 157 mm of decent ground clearance and carries a 13-liter fuel tank. The seat height for the Dominar has not yet been officially revealed. Design and style The new Bajaj Dominar 400 can be clearly differentiated by its unique styling. Like no other, the Dominar gets a sharp LED headlight with dark accents around itself. The slightly raised windscreen coupled with negligible fairing makes it one of the most attractive options in terms of styling. The tank section remains calm and flows effortlessly and perfectly to the rider's seat. The flow is so rich that no other motorcycle from the category seems so natural as the Dominar 400. The expended portions of the tank are smart enough to complete the package and seal the deal. Bajaj Auto has finished every component with the most possible precision and those simple factors like backlit buttons as well as its automatic headlight makes it uber cool in the dark time. The rear half is totally different story. Unlike all others where the pillion has to climb to the top and grab a seat, the Bajaj Dominar 400 offers a gentle heap from front to the rear seat. The tail completes in the midway while a plastic number plate holder and mudguard ends the things in the same smooth manner. The alloy wheels are super cool and matches perfectly to the nature of the bike. Short exhaust has been perfectly placed while the silver swing arm was a welcome move, keeping the beauty of even the minor elements alive on the Dominar 400. It looks massive with its thick tires and low stance with even Bajaj Auto comparing it with the proud stance of a lion. Instrument Console Bajaj used a completely new unit for the console duty on the Dominar 400. The one within the fuel tank is a slightly rectangular unit with indicator lights in a compartment while the second screen is the actual instrument console, carrying the typical cruiser style functionality while sharing some modern looks. All the details like speedometer, tachometer and odometer are available on the primary screen. The unit has a base dark shade while the readout value are displayed in white on the motorcycle. Engine and Gearbox The engine on the Dominar 400 is a 373.3 cc, one-cylinder liquid-cooled and fuel-injected motor producing 35 PS at 8,000 revolutions per minute and 35 Newton meters at 6,500 revolutions per minute. The engine comes mated to a six-speed manual gearbox with slipper clutch assist. The same unit is being used on KTM 390 Duke and RC 390 while the Bajaj Dominar 400s uses triple spark and DTSI technology. The cruiser style riding on the Bajaj Dominar 400, along with the mileage-oriented approach of Bajaj Auto has led to this mild tune of the engine on the Dominar 400. Top Speed and Performance It has balanced performance and economy in such a way that the 0-100 kmph comes out in 8.23 seconds while the top speed is limited to 148 kmph. Bajaj has not focused on making the bike a sprinter as they are promoting the same as a street smart machine and a mile muncher on the same time. The motorcycle claims a wet weight of 182 kilograms, making it just few kilograms less than the re-bikes. 
the high power values provide the dominer with an advantage over its competition. Which one would you love to buy? Bene ETNT 250 Royal Enfield Thunderbird 350 Bajaj Dominer 400 KTM Duke 390 Mahindra Mojo 300 Vote View Results Brakes and Suspension The Dominer 400 uses a 320mm front disc brake while the rear disc measures 230mm. It comes with an option between ABS and non-ABS braking system, offering the former at 14,000 Indian rupees premium over the non-ABS version. The front suspension was expected to be USD forks on the newcomer while the production spec model brought conventional 43mm, thick telescopic forks in place of them. The rear uses a gas-charged monoshock for the suspension duties. Tires and Stability Dominer has been built to resist the ups and downs of the Indian roads with much ease than its KTM counterparts. It uses thicker MRF radials, 110-70-17 and 150-60-17 tires for better grip levels while its low stance helps improve the stability factor by a good margin. Its high weight may restrict its top speed but still, that can help the rider to achieve the most stable ride of the segment on the Indian highways.